With the glut of the Ospreys Wales stars starting from the bench, there was another opportunity for their younger talent to impress on Saturday night at the Liberty. A fast and frantic start saw two home tries in the first ten minutes. Spotting a gap in the Zebra defence, fly half Sam Davis darted through into space, with number eight Dan Baker getting on the end of a well-timed pass to chalk up try number one of the night. With a try to his name already, Dan Baker would let Fiji and Josh Matavesi claim the points for the second score after a carry off the base of the scrum. Canadian Tyler Ardron would be the next Osprey to make it through Zebra's poorest defence, offloading to Scott Baldwin for try number three. On the stroke of half-time, Zebra scored their first of three tries on the night, Dion Berryman evading the tackle of Hanno Dirksen to go over in the corner. The half-time score, 27-8. After the break, Dan Baker was determined to get on the score sheet again. His break-off of a line-out saw him slice through the visitors' loose defence to score the bonus point try. Second half replacement, Wales's Six Nations starting scrum half Reese Webb reached out for his tenth try in all competitions this season. But with five tries up on the board, a lapse from the home team meant an intercept and length of the field run by winger Tony Alati would secure Zebra's second five-pointer. Webb, the Ospreys' top try scorer of the season, looks set to extend his impressive strike record, only to be held back. A penalty try awarded, and Webb denied the opportunity to claim a brace on the night. Not content with the six tries already on the board, quick Osprey's hands down the line put winger Hanno Dirksen in for their final score. But Zebra had the last word, replacement Alberto Chilon just reaching over. The game finished 53-22 with the Osprey's five points elevating them back to the playoff places. It is going to be a really, really meaty weekend next weekend. Uh, just to let you know, we actually start with the British and Irish Cup final on Friday evening. That's at 5 o'clock on Sky Sports 2. It's an all-championship affair this year as the Warriors travel to take on Doncaster. Then it's the first of the Challenge Cup quarterfinals. John Muldoon and his men will travel to King's Home to take on Gloucester from 7 o'clock on Sky Sports 2. Uh, and on Saturday, actually, both of uh, Clermont and Toulon lost today, but we've got uh, the Champions Cup quarterfinal from the Massey Centrale, Northampton making the journey there, and Pat Lamb will be our special guest for that one, obviously a Heineken Cup winner with the Saints back in 2000. That's 5.15 on two. We'll also have the Challenge Cup quarterfinal between the Chiefs and the Falcons from 5 to 8 on three. And uh, Simon Shaw, a Heineken Cup winner with Wasps and Toulon, of course, will be our special guest on Sunday. Uh, his old side, Wasps, make the journey uh, to the Stad Felix Mail, 2.45, and that is on Sky Sports 2.